وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين. Yeah. I'm looking. You didn't. You just, you just explained this too well. You didn't explain the yeah, this issue. And this is the making the story up. Okay. This is the. I do not. Okay. Where did you get this information? Later off. Is it in the Bible? Well, it's. Uh, yeah. Where did you get that information? Oh, in the the two gospel accounts. You Did they mention two walls? Well, what it says is he's coming into it didn't. Jerusalem. Now. When you look right. into the background. You're just, again, no, no, so where did you get that background from? Well, because when you look into, if you look into the, um, uh -huh. you know, the uh, chronology of the city, you know, that's how it was built. What? Okay, once again, you, you even like Jerusalem once again, let me, you've got the old walls. Sure. But, but to say that so the verse out, is referring to one wall and not the other is, is pure made up. No, no. Right? So that's what I'm trying to explain. I'm just using something as an okay. illustration to show you sure. something that can see a as a contradiction. Okay. Until you dig a bit deeper, okay. you find out it isn't a contradiction. Okay. You know, there's many things you're on the face of it. You think, well, okay. he said this, he said that. Or in the gospel account. So, so right that. now, as it stands, there's a clear contradiction. You can research it, no, come back. I didn't say you said I, I, I'm, I'm saying I something. Said can, can I? Okay. You're changing my words. I, I didn't say you said it. Did I? Did I say you said it? Did I say you said it? Did I say you said it? I am saying, my words, okay, that right now we have a clear contradiction. Because a person cannot be 8 and 18. You looked in your study Bible, you didn't give me an answer. Go home, look it up, pray on it, research it, ask your pastors, Always ask do your... That. Don't ask any pastors, go, I'll look up my you, you do a great job, wonderful. Look it up, come back here, the brothers are here, you can give them the answer, okay? Exactly. We're, not, we're not here to put you on the spot, but you made a statement, so now my question to you is, the contradictions, I can show you a hundred right now standing, okay? You can see them well marked up, but I'm not, I've already shown you and you don't have answers, we're just going to move on for that. My question to you, in the Old Testament, that God that's speaking, do you believe in that God? Go back to what you just said. So okay. My questions, you don't have answers. I said I need to do some research. Uh, okay. Then you don't have an answer until you do your research, right? Well, that's a better way of putting it. Okay. It's a kind of. Let way. me say it again, kindly. At this moment, looking in your study Bible, you don't have an answer, and I'm sure you're going to go do your research, and it is possible that with your research you'll come back with an answer, and that's why I said the brothers are here. I, I don't live here. I'm just here today. You can bring them the answer after your research. Is that kind enough for you? Why are you not coming back? Uh, inshallah, if the brothers invite me and Allah wills it, I'll come back. But I don't live in the UK. See? Just, just, to, just, to, be, just to be clear, yeah? you did come over to the Dawah story, questioning, questioning the Quran as if you, as, as if, as if the Bible, as if the Bible had all the answers. Let's, 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 let's just, just wanted to just okay. clarify that. But you did make a statement about the Bible being preserved with, with the people counting the letters and making sure there are no errors, right? Yeah. Like I said earlier, don't throw stones when you live in glass houses. Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Tom, go ahead. Yes. Judge. Mm -hmm. Did I say that to you? No, no, but you did say, Tom. You did say, if I can remind you, and, and I mean, we can play the recording if you like, is that the Bible does not have contradictions because the authors did a, you know, the, the scribe did a meticulous job of counting and throwing away. What I'm showing you are clear contradictions. I said to okay? you, uh -huh. I said to you, actually, actuality, okay. I said to you, any, any errors that I've done, uh -huh. you, know, uh -huh. you have to remember over the years, Okay. There's many more manuscripts available. Right. And, and, and when those, when those manuscripts contradict, what do you do then? Right. That's why your Jehovah Witness New World Translation is different from NIV verses that are different, not just the English of it, which is different from KGV. There are verses here that I can show you. Do you have the Jehovah Witness Bible with you? Uh, so now there are verses here in this KGV that are taken out there, right? So that means the Bible is not preserved. Those manuscripts themselves contradict. And now what I want to ask you is if you look at here, this is in 
Chronicles, First Chronicles, 21 in the first. Now Satan stood up against Israel and moved David to number Israel. Right? Now, in that same context, when you have God stood up and ordered David to number the children of Israel, would you say that's a clear contradiction? So now 2 Samuel 24 in the beginning, the Lord was aroused against Israel and he moved David say and said, go number Israel. So was it God, the Lord, or was it Satan? He numbered Israel. David did, but who ordered him, God or Satan? That's a clear contradiction. Unless you think God and Satan are synonymous, which I think we both agree is not, right? Now, when it says, Then Job gave the sum of the number of the people of the king, and there were in Israel 800,000 valiant men who drew the sword, and the men of Judah were 500,000. So how many in Israel? 800,000. 500,000 in Judah. Now, when we go to Second Chronicles, then Job, same Job, gave the sum of the number to the same King David. Israel had 1,100,000 men who drew the sword, and Judah had 470,000 men. Tell me what to do. So would you... Would Get you, yourself no. a pencil and paper. Uh -huh. Write down those verses. We take those two. Okay. Write them down. Okay. Then do some research. And I don't want this man. I want you to come back and okay. discuss it. Will you do that? Let's do that, Tom. Okay. okay. Inshallah. Inshallah. Very good. I appreciate your conversation. Nice I'll Take give you the easy. verses, you, write them down. you look them up, I'll, I'll give you my number even, yeah. right? And we can sit down because I have offered this to biblical scholars that I just had a debate in Dubai and they never came back. And you might be surprised. I, I, I surprise me. I like surprises. But Tom, if you find there are contradictions, including in the original manuscripts, and we and you agreed the Quran is preserved, then will you follow the Quran? That which is preserved away from that which is corrupted? You're asking a different question. I, I'm just asking that question. There's a different question. There's a difference between following the Quran. Okay. Okay. But if you have a revelation that's preserved, shouldn't you follow? I will write it for you. Thank you, Tom. Yes, I'll do it right now. Let's go. وعمل صالحا 